reporter of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. A new report by Reveal from the Center of Investigative Reporting actually found that the government, the United States government, has been operating this whole migrant crisis with the miners and all of that, whatever, have been putting these kids in secret shelters. We're talking about secret shelters places that nobody knows about they're not tracking these kids and they're putting them in shelters and doing god knows what the fuck is going on now this article revealed the locations of of five in particular so they basically proved that there were five specifically but we always know that they could be more especially in them operating in secret now this is some nefarious shit that we got going on especially in the midst of this whole catholic church sex scandal especially in the midst of all of this organ harvesting that's going on especially in israel and over here in the states and all of that whatever look that up them rabbis in in, in new york and new jersey and that crackdown from 2011 and all of that it's serious shit man wake the fuck up green wall and graduation the other new world daughter, Bishop Grady, laying out what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So I'm reporting on this because it's good that we hear some new ideas from different types of people. So Elizabeth Warren, uh, the senator from Massachusetts, Democratic late, white lady, has actually said that um, in a town hall meeting that they uh, hosted on CNN or whatever, she actually said that she wants to do away with the electoral college. Now, I've been hearing that talk going on underground for years. You know what I mean? Possibly uh, even a couple decades, but the reality is uh, a lot of people feel like this shit is unfair, especially with a motherfucker like Trump getting in on the strength of the Electoral College or for close vote. Like, it's seeming real, it's just seeming real shady. And, um, I mean, but, you know, let's keep it real, though, because since this Black Fox News, we're going to tell y'all the real. We know motherfuckers be rigging these computers anyway. You can check each and every election. This last one be having to have dealt with um, Russians and all of that shit. So, you know, this is facts. Look it up. Um, check all my broadcasts, too. Green War and Graduation. We will do the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, Veterans for Peace members uh, Ken Mayers and Tarak Koff are actually uh, uh, being held and arrested and possibly facing up to uh, two years in prison before um, actually even seeing a trial out in Ireland. So basically, they were protesting at uh, Shannon Airport in Ireland and um, because that is where US military planes regularly fuel before they go on to the Middle East and do all of the bombing and the fuck shit that they've been doing. Now, um, these veterans, though, these are U.S. veterans or whatever, they protested this airport um, with signs that basically were calling for them to let Ireland remain neutral. Because just by virtue of you doing that, you're kind of like getting them on your team and acting like y'all in cahoots. So, you know, it, it, that, that's what the protest was about. They're in Lime Rick prison in case y'all want to send them a, a message or anything like that. But, you know, God bless them and uh, all the other activists that's protesting this war shit because it's getting out of hand. Green war and graduate. The New World Order, Bishop Grady Lane, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, um, the House Judiciary Committee is actually going to hold, uh, it's actually being reported that they're going to hold a hearing regarding the rise of white nationalism, hate speech, and, and uh, hate crimes in the U.S. The Southern Poverty Law Center actually reported that uh, white nationalist groups have increased by 50% last year alone. So, now we know that this is uh, in correlating with uh, the empowerment of Donald Trump. Him to be in the executive branch now running that show, that shit show that we call a presidency. But let's keep it real though. The white rise of white nationalism and hate speech and hate crime, that sounds weird to black people because this shit is it's like how far are we gonna go back? Are we just going back to last year and Trump's presidency? Are we gonna go back to the Reconstruction era, the civil rights era, the uh emancipation proclamation? Are we gonna like the slavery itself? Like the fuck man, it's kinda comical, but we'll you know, we'll see how this pans out, man. Hopefully something good comes from it. Green war and graduate. Uh, the new world order, Bishop Grady Lane, y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. You know what I'm saying? It's a sunny day out, you know what I mean? But I still gotta let y'all know what's happening out here. So, the uh, Huffington Post actually did an investigation and found that at least seven members of the military are a part of a uh, group called Inside Evropa. E-V-R-O-P-A. I don't know if the V is supposed to be a fancy way of, of being like a U, like how we've done in hip-hop before, but uh, if it's Europa... You know, it makes sense because this group is actually a, a, a right wing nationalist group. Now, um, it's not the first time that uh, people who've been a part of the military have been a part of white nationalist groups. I mean, a lot of these motherfuckers end up at the other end of uh, na um, mass shootings. 
let's keep it real or have some sort of military background so you know there should definitely be an investigation into that a very thorough one like let's cut it the fuck out now um this group in particular though they actually organized the unite the right rally in 2017 in charlottesville virginia that left one woman dead so we'll see how this pans out green wall graduation We'll do the Bishop Grady Lane, y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Yeah, the weather look good behind me, but it ain't good everywhere. So I'm reporting that over in Mozambique, Africa, uh, Mozambique, Malawi, and Zimbabwe uh, actually experienced this past, uh, from Thursday to, I believe, like Saturday or Sunday, uh, they had a cyclone, Cyclone Idai, I-D-A-I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's how you spell it, um, actually came and killed hundreds. Um, it even, uh, aid agencies are even saying that it wiped out, um, 90% of the city of Beira, B-E-I-R-A, in, uh, Mozambique. So the president actually spoke out and he said the death toll of Mozambique, they actually top 1,000. Uh, they're still, you know, counting up all of the bodies or whatever, but you're talking about over 90% of a whole city that was actually wiped out. They actually had a population of uh, half a million people, so, you know, it's serious damage over there. I know everybody thinking about New Zealand, but, yo, let's pray for Africa, man, and those countries that are with them, man. Green War and Graduation. Uh, the new world the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, uh, the New York Times is actually reporting that uh, in Saudi Arabia that the government actually had what was called the Saudi Rapid Intervention Group. A uh, group designed to essentially uh, eliminate um, dissidents from the government. People that are, uh, actually want to go against the government. And uh, these, uh, and part of this program, it was a whole program. This included uh, forcible repatriation, or you know, I mean, getting kicked the fuck out the country. Um, you know what I'm saying? Kidnapping, torture, uh, and um, you know, shit like that. Gangster shit. Let's keep it real. That's what that is. So, in general, this was um, is seen as being connected to the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, who was the New York. Uh, who was a Washington Post, pardon me, uh, journalist that was uh, from Saudi and he actually got found chopped up in a, a Saudi uh, consulate in Turkey. By the way, Turkey actually issued arrest warrants for the 20 people that were involved in that murder. You know what I'm saying? We'll see how that pans out. Green War and graduation. We'll go to Bishop Grady Lane. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, uh, yesterday, actually, uh, a United Nations Commission submitted a full report to the uh, Human Rights Council at the UN, basically showing how Israel has been, um, you know, violating human rights of the Palestinian protesters at the Gaza Strip. Now, this is, uh, goes, if y'all follow me, y'all know last week I reported on how there were um, they, there was a, a finding. This same commission that actually made these findings. So this so this is just marking them actually making submitting the official report. But those findings showed that like you know 189 people Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces. Uh, many of them unarmed. Almost all of them with um, with live ammunition. Now these people come actually to the Gaza Strip and protest with with no weapons, and they end up getting shot the fuck down. So while we're talking about 189 killed, you know you can imagine how many or more are injured if it's just shots flying. So Green War graduation. Man. We will do the Bishop Grady Lane. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So over in Paris, France, and France in general, actually they've been uh they we entered the fourth month of protest by the yellow vest um a bunch of citizens that are pretty much fed up with the government so you can call them anti-government protesters and they're out there being known uh by wearing yellow vests now uh police have been cracking down on them for all throughout the four months and this past weekend they in included uh there were like you know 200 arrests at least um you know the french prime minister edouard philippe has actually said that the yellow vests are banned from certain neighborhoods and um you know, and, and you know, the complete ban, he's actually banned completely um, any protests from like uh, groups that are considered violent or ultra radicalized. And so, um, you know, it's looking crazy over there, but they had enough. And let that be a, a, a lesson and, you know, let other countries take note because I'm sure they're not the only citizens that had enough with their government. Green war and graduation. We'll go to Bishop Grady Lane, y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, you know, I got to report on this because it's very alarming, especially for us to be in this media world, this media-driven world, especially me as the editor-in-chief of Black Fox News. But uh, there was a fourth radio host slash journalist that was killed in Mexico this year, this past Friday, by the name of Santiago Barroso. 
Now, this is ill because it seemed like that, it seemed like they're just executing journalists who might uh, be a little too um, investigative, honestly. I mean, this one in particular was doing a story on how uh, uh, immigrants were being smuggled along the border. Mind you, his home is uh, actually on the house, is by the uh, U.S.-Mexico border uh, near Arizona. And um, yeah, government came in and, and killed him. So, you know, they're looking at Mexican governments and authorities are looking into it. Uh, a British nonprofit by the name of Article 19 actually found that um, journalists in Mexico are executed with a 99% impunity rate. Crazy. Green War and graduation. Uh, the new world order, Bishop Grady Lee, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So yesterday, actually, the um, uh, opposition leader of Venezuela, his name is Juan Guaido. And the U.S. has, you know, publicly said that, you know, we acknowledge him as the president instead of the current president, Nicolas Maduro. I've been keeping y'all up to date with this if y'all been following the nigga, you feel me? Now, yesterday in the U.S., um, the U.S. actually let representatives of Guado uh, pretty much take over diplomatic establishments that were uh, set aside for um, their ties with Venezuela. So there's a, a consulate in New York. And um, there were a couple of uh, uh, buildings in Washington, D.C. that pretty much these reps were allowed to come in there and, you know, plant their stake, you know. And the U.S. is officially, it just makes it more official, essentially, that, yo, we acknowledge this other guy as the president, not, not y'all motherfuckers. And, you know, they're still, you know, crippling sanctions, not even letting that sit go money go back to Venezuela and all of that type of shit going on. So it's getting tense, man. Green war and graduation. The new world order, Bishop Grady Lee, you know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So over in Nicaragua, that's in Central America for those who don't know, um, the president of Nicaragua, Daniel Ortega, is actually ha actually released on Friday 50 political prisoners. Now, that's not even the main headline of this shit. The main headline is that a bunch of people were protesting all throughout the weekend after he released these 50 prisoners because they want the release of all political prisoners. Now, the government has actually been mounted, you know, it's apparently um indiscriminately you know a jail and protesters people who've had uh not protesters but um political opponents people who, who have protested um in some cases journalists and people who are public figures with with opinions and all of that these people have been jailed now daniel ortega the president he actually had to come out of his mouth and say that he's op he's opening he's vowing to have open co dialogue with political um opposition but you know, for him to have to even say that out loud should let you know what time it is. Green Wall and graduation. Well, though the Bishop Grady Lee, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, um, you know, the House Judiciary Committee, you know, the committee that is made up of House of Representative members, uh, Congress members, who basically get together and do investigations on people that are, um, you know, very relevant in the U.S., whether politically or economically or whatever. Um, and, you know, pretty much conduct cases. They, in, at times, grill them while they on live television and all of that, whatever. The dumb motherfuckers have actually said that in the past, and I've reported on this, that they were requesting documents from 81 different entities we're talking about people and organizations that have dealt with Trump so they wanted the Deutsche Bank they wanted uh you know his the Trump organization members etc etc all stemming from that um Michael Cohen uh testimony from you know his former lawyer basically spilling all the tea on that motherfucker and um they said that the House Judiciary Committee actually said that they received tens of thousands of documents um Congress member Gerald Nadler, who's actually on the committee, said that a few thousand came from Steve Bannon, who owns Breitbart. Green Wall graduate.